And this morning's Health Watch, blood pressure and strokes. You could have an increased risk of a stroke, even if your blood pressure is only slightly higher than normal. That's right, there's new research which finds people who have what doctors call pre-hypertension had a 55% higher risk of having a stroke. Dr. Holly Phillips is here with more on the story for us this morning. That number sounds very high. So first of all, give us a better idea. What exactly is pre hypertension sure. and what did that study say about it? Well, Erica, Chris, pre-hypertension is when your blood pressure is elevated but not yet high enough to be considered true hypertension. So just to go through the numbers, normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. Pre-hypertension is when your top number is somewhere between 120 and 139 and your bottom number is between 80 and 89. True hypertension, or when we call people, when we say you have high blood pressure, that's more of a number of 140 on top and 90 on the bottom or above that. Now, a quarter of Americans do have this pre-hypertension state, and what the study showed today is that that in and of itself can cause a stroke. I don't know about most people out there, but a lot of people mm -hmm. only have their blood pressure taken when they go at to the, the doctor's doctor, office right. for physical or whatnot. Sure. Do you recommend doing it more frequently and maybe doing it at home? Exactly. You know, what I do in my office is when, when I diagnose somebody with hypertension or pre hypertension, I suggest that they get a blood pressure monitor at home. You can just pick up one of these actually right at most drug stores. They start at about $49.99, somewhere in there. Um, because many people get nervous at the doctor's office. They get something called white coat hypertension where you're just nervous somebody's taking your blood pressure. It's like a test. And so you start to think, you know, you start to, your blood pressure starts to go up on its own. So if you have the blood pressure monitor at home, you can test it several times a day and really know what your true number is. Get a better sense of it. And then if you do in fact have this slightly elevated number, this mm -hmm. pre-hypertension, what are some ways that you can work to bring it down? Well, first we really focus on lifestyle factors. The most important is to lose weight if you are overweight. Even just a weight loss of seven pounds can lower your blood pressure by 10 points. Um, next, you would want to watch your sodium intake, not more than a teaspoon a day of table salt. Eat a plant-based diet. We're thinking, you know, fruits, vegetables, fish, whole grains, and a little bit of dairy. And also limit your alcohol intake to just in moderation. Moderation is two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for women. So all of those things can really bring down your blood pressure and prevent you getting high, high blood pressure in the future. And that is our goal. Thank Great advice as always. Good to see you. Thank you.